Galloway is coming on to talk about his sterling rebuttal of the lying neocons. That's coming up after this break. Let's go ahead and go to part of his uh, opening statements to the Senate uh, Propaganda Committee a few weeks ago. Here it is. So there's nothing fanciful about this. Nothing at all fanciful about it. The existence of forged documents implicating me in commercial activities with the Iraqi regime is a proven fact. It's a proven fact that these forged documents existed and were being circulated amongst right-wing newspapers in Baghdad and around the world in the immediate aftermath of the fall of the Iraqi regime. Now, Senator, I gave my heart and soul to oppose the policy that you promoted. I gave my political life's blood to try to stop the mass killing of Iraqis by the sanctions on Iraq, which killed a million Iraqis, most of them children. Most of them died before they even knew that they were Iraqis, but they died for no other reason other than that they were Iraqis, with the misfortune to be born at that time. I gave my heart and soul to stop you committing the disaster that you did commit in invading Iraq. And I told the world that your case for the war was a pack of lies. I told the world that Iraq, contrary to your claims, did not have weapons of mass destruction. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to Al-Qaeda. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to the atrocity on 9-11-2001. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that the Iraqi people would resist a British and American invasion of their country and that the fall of Baghdad would not be the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning. Senator, in everything I said about Iraq, I turned out to be right and you turned out to be wrong. And a hundred thousand people have paid with their lives. Sixteen hundred of them American soldiers sent to their deaths on a pack of lies. Fifteen thousand of them wounded, many of them disabled forever on a pack of lies. If the world had listened to Kofi Annan, whose dismissal you demanded, if the world had listened to President Chirac, who you want to paint as some kind of corrupt traitor, if the world had listened to me and the anti-war movement in Britain, we would not be in the disaster that we are in today. We'll be right back. We're going to come back uh, with Member of Parliament George Galloway, a real trailblazer, honored that he's going to be joining us. We'll also finish up that little clip. Please stay with us. I heard that you were a free speech man. I tell you, he's great to talk to in person. I just got a chance to talk to Mr. Galloway for the last few minutes during the break. We'll be talking to him live uh, here in just a minute or two. An unbelievably uh, uh, intelligent and, and courageous individual. I wish we had more politicians like him here in the United States, but he's a statesman and uh, basically left the Labor Party because he refused to go along with their propaganda uh, with Tony Blair and the CIA and MI6. And uh, now he has just turned the tables on the lying neocons uh, who were bearing false witness against him, and he's winning lawsuits against liars and uh, other perpetrators of mass murder in Iraq. And so I want to just commend him. But here's about two minutes of the 15-minute opening statements that he gave a few weeks ago in front of the Senate uh, propaganda Ministry of uh, Truth uh, Committee. And uh, here's just a few more minutes of that, and then we'll go to Mr. Galloway. I gave my political life's blood to try to stop the mass killing of Iraqis by the sanctions on Iraq, which killed a million Iraqis, most of them children. Most of them died before they even knew that they were Iraqis, but they died for no other reason other than that they were Iraqis, with the misfortune to be born at that time. I gave my heart and soul to stop you committing the disaster that you did commit in invading Iraq. And I told the world that your case for the war was a pack of lies. 
I told the world that Iraq, contrary to your claims, did not have weapons of mass destruction. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to Al-Qaeda. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to the atrocity on 9-11-2001. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that the Iraqi people would resist a British and American invasion of their country and that the fall of Baghdad would not be the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning. Senator, in everything I said about Iraq, I turned out to be right and you turned out to be wrong. And a hundred thousand people have paid with their lives. Sixteen hundred of them American soldiers sent to their deaths on a pack of lies. Fifteen thousand of them wounded, many of them disabled forever on a pack of lies. If the world had listened to Kofi Annan, whose dismissal you demanded, if the world had listened to President Chirac, who you want to paint as some kind of corrupt traitor, if the world had listened to me and the anti-war movement in Britain, we would not be in the disaster that we are in today. Senator, this is the mother of all smoke screens. You are trying to divert attention from the crimes that you supported, from the theft of billions of dollars of Iraq's wealth. Have a look at the real oil for food scandal. Have a look at the 14 months you were in charge of Baghdad, the first 14 months, when $8.8 .8 billion of Iraq's wealth went missing on your watch. Have a look at Halliburton and the other American corporations that stole not only Iraq's money, but the money of the American taxpayer. Have a look at the oil that you didn't even meter that you were shipping out of the country and selling, the proceeds of which went who knows where. Have a look at the $800 million you gave to American military commanders to hand out around the country without even counting it or weighing it. All right. Now, again, it goes on and on, and, and he totally turned the tables on him. This is the same crew that lied about Mr. Galloway, the Honorable Mr. Galloway, member of Parliament. This is the same crew that creates fake Niger uranium documents, that uses 12-year-old graduate student documents, that holds up vials of anthrax and comes up with 45-minute missile stories. This is the same crew that tried to plant weapons of mass destruction over and over again and always got caught lying. This is the crew that ordered the CIA to lie. This is the crew involved in all the bid rigging and Dick Cheney running the contracts out of the White House. Okay, enough of uh, Mr. Galloway's earlier statements and my comments. Mr. Galloway, it's a great honor to have you joining us. It's a great pleasure, any time at all. Uh, please uh, give us in a nutshell what really happened here and, and then any new developments that you've discovered uh, involving this monstrous fraud that they tried to falsely paint you with. Well, I think that the comments you've just made really sum it up. This is mendacity on a militarized uh, scale. The British and American states uh, were involved in spinning a story so vile and such a monumental lie that they will be damned forever in the history books and beyond that uh, into the hellfires themselves because they have killed a huge number of people on that pack of lies. This is not just like lying to win an election. It's not lying about what you think of the economic curve. It's not lying on a normal political scale. This is lying on a scale that has plunged the world into a disaster, the bottom of which we have very definitely not yet reached. The reverberations of the war on Iraq, the invasion and its occupation, will continue as long as you and I are alive and probably as long as our children are alive. They have scarred the face of the international legal and political systems. They have undermined uh, respect for democratic government in your country and in mine. They have polarized the world between the west and the east, between the north and the south. They have made hundreds of millions of people hate us even more intently than they already hated us. And with a charge sheet like that, it's no wonder that those responsible are throwing up what I call the mother of all smoke screens.